President Obama will travel to Cuba next month in a further sign of warming relations between the U.S. and the island nation. It will be the first visit by a sitting American president in 88 years. Here with more details is Wall Street Journal reporter William Malden. Hi, Will. Great to have you with us. Is there a significance to the timing of this visit in March? Thanks, Tanya. Um, well, what I would say about the timing is, on the one hand, it comes right before Cuba's seventh Communist Party gathering, which could be a major event that could allow for new policies to take hold in Cuba. These are the things that haven't happened so far, but that might happen if the U.S. keeps in encouraging closer ties with Cuba. So that's one reason. But the bigger reason is just that uh, President Obama is running out of time in office. He, uh, opening up to Cuba is one of his major priorities. He got started on it over a year ago. And he's running out of time. He needs to make sure some of these reforms, some of these closer ties take hold, take root, so that maybe someday Congress could get rid of the embargo that blocks most trade and tourism with Cuba, and maybe the next president won't undo what he has begun. Right. It's one thing to announce the changes. It's another thing to get the mechanism moving that's actually going to put these changes in place. But what has the White House revealed so far about what the, the president plans to do when he is in Cuba? You know, they haven't said that much yet. They said he will meet with uh, President Raul Castro, Fidel Castro's brother, and they've talked a lot about entrepreneurs and people-to-people -people contacts. So what I would really expect to see is uh, President Obama trying to encourage entrepreneurship, trying to encourage small business development in Cuba. Right. You would not expect to see him visibly connected with you know, members of the ruling regime or state enterprises or this type of thing. This has really been a goal of the administration is to try to open up these small people-to-people -people ties. After all, there's so many Cuban Americans, as you know, in this country, in Florida and elsewhere. Absolutely. And speaking of Cuban Americans, who tend to be the largest critical group of what uh, President Obama is doing, what are critics saying about this? Well, Marco Rubio, who's uh, Cuban American, of course, uh, denounced denounced it as a uh, anti-American communist dictatorship. You know, sort of saying it's basically saying uh, it's completely wrong for a president of the United States to go visit a place that has this type of policy. And uh, there's a lot of politics going back decades uh, around Cuba, especially in Florida, which is a major swing state, and Marco Rubio's swing state. So you've heard some denouncements, but uh, President Obama is looking He's looking more broadly at the overall public support for closer ties to Cuba. It's a country that's next door. The, you know, according to the administration, the previous policies of embargo uh, haven't worked, haven't changed the regime. It's time to try something different. So there is support for opening up ties. Americans are interested in, in tourism there. So there's been, a, there's been some criticism of this, but overall there's broad support for what the administration is attempting to do. There's just, uh, I believe, there's uh, a, a lot of concern that the Cubans may or may not be following through with, with their own steps to, to warm ties. Sure, their end of the bargain. I mean, let's just paint a picture here. The last American president, sitting American president, to visit was Coolidge, correct? I mean, that's how far back this goes. So how is the island nation preparing for this? This is a big deal for Cuba. Well, I guess Woodrow Wilson uh, spent a lot of time in Key West, which isn't quite Cuba, but it's, it's something close anyway. Uh, <laughs> not but, quite the island, though. <laughs> no, it's not quite the island. Well, this is a big deal. You know, it's, it's a presidential visit, and, and uh, you know, President Obama has uh, recently visited Malaysia, which has some human rights issues, mm -hmm. uh, as well as a leader who's under, sus under suspicion um, for various financial dealings, uh, you know, there's the Iran nuclear deal, which was, a, a, in a sense, a warming to Iran, another country that, where there's strong human rights concerns. Uh, it's a big deal to have this visit. Uh, but, of course, you know, the Pope has visited Cuba recently. Sure. There's been a lot of interest internationally in, uh, in sort of undoing this, this rift and, uh, across the strait, Straits of Florida uh, between these two countries that are so close to each other. All right. Thank you so much, William, for all that. Thank you, Tanya.